Hello, everybody. Better fix my hair. <laughs> oh, I uh, just finished my other video, and I'm getting ready to do this one. This is what I was telling you that um, I had on this side of the dining room that um, I want to paint to co go with uh, go inside with this one that I just got through painting earlier, and um, it is uh, absorbing quite nicely but it's uh, the color that I really like, so I'm keeping it. And I'm not gonna do anything additional to it, so it didn't take much to fix it. So I'm gonna try to do this one the same way. I think that I will really like it. I'm just gonna have to get these papers that uh, I had under this one to keep, make sure it didn't get into my wall. I don't think that um, I will be, no, it's so, far out from my wall, I won't be touching it. So I won't have to be messing with it until I get up to about right there. Then probably have to put something there to sort of catch a little bit in case I get a little close to the wall. This one is, I think I can get that one without it. But uh, I'm hoping that it will all go just fine. Now the uh, paint that I used a while ago, I will go ahead and tell you, it's the Waverly. I hate to have to walk so much back and forth between us, but uh, Wait a minute, I gotta get this thing fixed. Okay, it's the Waverly Chalk Mineral Acrylic Paint Matte Finish. There you go. That's what I'm using, and that's what I used earlier. And I really like what it's done so far. I might like a little bit just a touch of a, a little bit of a shine on it. I don't know. But we'll see when time comes. And uh, I'm just hitting it here, there, and yonder. No perfect places or anything. You can't get anything any easier than this type of painting. I don't think you could make a mistake if you try. In fact, the mistakes would probably be considered your best part on it. Because it's supposed to be all rough. And you may have to get a brush that's just a little bit more um, tight than this one. I didn't even bother to uh, get this one marked off where the uh, mirror is because I really didn't think that I would need it. I think I better get my other brush though. So where is it? That's in the case. Okay, I have got my um, other brush and I'm going to put this one over here so that I won't be making a mistake and dropping it off on my carpet. Now this one should uh, form better angles than my um, other one that I had because I had been using it on a lot of different things that didn't have to be particular with and you could just wash it out. Now, if I get too much of this down here, all I'll have to do is go along and put some uh, marshmallow where I got too much of this grayish color. That's what I'm saying. It's really almost virtually impossible to mess it up. So 
However, I do notice one thing. Your paint tends to uh, get a little stiffer on you pretty fast. So you might want to watch out for that. I looked and looked and looked for something to put in here, and I never could find what I really wanted. And I kept waiting and waiting. Because I'm the type that I'd rather wait and do without something than to get something that I don't like and just stick it in there to have in there. And then when I do get it, I really like it. and. I can live with it for years and years. It's just my personality. I'm sure my husband appreciated that. <laughs> Kept him from having to buy too many things. temperature is where you all live, but it is quite warm down here tonight. I'm doing this and it's probably around 9 or 10 o'clock, something like that. And it's still quite, quite warm. I've been hoping that we would get some cold weather pull all this gulf down so we won't have to worry about additional hurricanes coming in. I don't know if I'm going to get that though or not. So I get enough on here to just get a little bit of a show of paint is all I really am interested in. It doesn't have to be a big bunch or anything. And I hate it because my back is to you. I think you need to be coming at an angle more than that. But then when I go on the other side, it'd be the same. I'm going to have to have something to stand on. And in the meantime, I'm going to get a little bit of this. Um, um, toasted marshmallow and put it over some of this that's where I feel like I just put more than what I wanted to get of the uh, gray. I think 
I don't lighten it up. Yeah, see, it's lightening it up. Then I can come back and just put little touches of the gray on. Like I said, you can hardly make a mistake. Whoops. And in the wrong paint. up here. Okay, I'm going to stop for just a little bit and get a stool, and then I'll go up and uh, fix the top of it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I um, have got this just about finished, and um, I have, I think, all of the uh, uh, gray that I'm going to put on it, and I might have to just touch it up a couple times uh, in a couple places with the... Um, marshmallow but um, if I don't I'm going to leave it just like it is because I really do like it and it's going to match the other one that I just did and then that one is going to match a match it's going to match it's going to match uh, the one on the other side of my door I have a, um, a thing hanging over there that has um, little hooks on it and uh, it's just decorative purposes is what I use it for but I've always really loved it. So um, it, uh, it was the color it is when I bought it. And um, then when I bought these two, they were white. So I just, and the rest of my furniture in here is dark. So uh, it just didn't go very well with it. So uh, the way it is now, I like it and it looks old. Now the mirror is going to have to be cleaned. And I did get a little bit of the paint um, right in here. And in here, but I notice that if I just take my cloth and uh, wipe against it, it wipes right off. Uh, it, it doesn't stay on at all. So uh, there's no need to worry about that if you're ever uh, working around a mirror. I mean, I would try to keep as much as I could off, but uh, if you do happen to get a few on it, it won't matter because uh, they will wipe right off. And um, it looks really nice, and, and uh, when I get it cleaned really well, it will look even better. So uh, that's the extent of this video, and I hope that you like it. So then I'm going to start in on uh, some of my other things that I have to do, and I'll be getting into some of my Christmas things probably before too long. So um, you guys take care, and... Uh, Know that we are thinking about you and praying for you and that we love you and don't forget that and God loves you more importantly. God loves you too. Bye-bye.